talk to you in so long but i'm sure you guys are all aware of all of the natural disasters that have been occurring we got the hurricane that hit texas jesus actually has family that lives there and then we have hurricane irma which we all know the damage that that caused so our prayers go out to every single one of you that are dealing with the aftermath we know people and have relatives that live in florida and puerto rico that were affected so we just needed a little time off but we're back so stay tuned for more videos coming soon on the bright side i wanted to bring light to this channel called the life of the cassells recently kiara cassell shouted us out on her channel so it's only right that i return the love because i'm all for supporting each other ladies and gentlemen i propose to toast the united states army Do some more. Oh, <laughs> Keep going. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god. We I'll have one. I have a, I don't drink like that. Hey, how you guys doing? Well, <laughs> she's down here. Uh, we had a great time. I didn't dance because I didn't get fucked you up. You did a little bit. No, I, I danced one song because it was a slow song. I, I don't do that fast shit anyway. Look at my eyelashes though. I feel like I'm about to fly away. Hi. Oh my God. What's so, good? Um, I did it as well. You solemnly swear? You solemnly swear. That I will support and defend? I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies? Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic? Foreign and domestic. And that I will bear true faith? I will bear true faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. That I will obey the orders. I will obey the orders. Of the President of the United States. The President of the United States. And the orders. And the orders. Of the officers appointed over me. Of the officers appointed over me. In accordance with regulation. In accordance with regulation. In the Uniform Code of Military Justice. And in the Uniform Code of Military Justice. So help me God. So help me God. They're vloggers who are also an army family, which I think is pretty awesome. So to her husband, Desmond, thank you so much for your service. They have a great family dynamic. You guys know that my little family is everything to me. My hubby, my son, and my baby girl, Delilah. And Kiara's the same way. She's always with her beautiful kids, Corey and Jericho, and her husband, Desmond. So it just makes it really easy to relate to them. So check them out, guys. Follow their journey if you haven't already discovered their channel. I'm going to go ahead and link them down below and let them know that the Meza family sent you. Anyways, I'm the first one up this morning so i'm about to make my breakfast first i'm really in the mood for some homemade pancakes with sliced bananas on top some eggs and some freshly squeezed orange juice oh it sounds so good right now i used to love the aunt jemima pancakes with the aunt jemima syrup when i was little aunt jemima pancakes without her syrup is like the spring without the fall ever since i made homemade pancakes with maple syrup I never look back. So I'm also gonna link the recipe for my homemade pancakes down below as well. And with that being said, let's go get started because your girl's hungry. <laughs>
I remember when I was pregnant, I used to eat Johnny Rockets so much that when I gave birth, someone actually thought that we named Grace and Johnny. <laughs> that's funny. Anyways, that's where we are right now. We're about to have some lunch. Not only are their milkshakes always perfection, but they always give you the leftovers. It just makes us feel so special. tell you with a toddler you always have to have your phone ready YouTube there backed up with his favorite movie on pause because they freak out out of nowhere especially in restaurants by the way these fries are delicious bacon fries they usually put cheese on them but I don't like cheese you guys already know so I just put ketchup mine are plain still good though one thing I hate about eating out in certain restaurants when you order something like for instance I order these fries with some of these milkshakes and some burgers I want everything brought to me at the same time. I want to eat my fries with my burgers, man. Yeah, here, they bring you the milkshake first, then they bring you the fries, and then you have to wait like another 15 minutes or 10 minutes for the burger. Look who decided to come join us. Say hey, bro. I don't care, guys. I'm loud everywhere I go. Tell them. I don't care who looks at us. <laughs> <laughs> After an eternity, my burger's finally here. Uh, mine is here too. I didn't want bacon, but it's okay. I'll just take it off and push it to the side. We almost finished our whole milkshake stove. Usually people walk out and leave and they eat it at a restaurant and their kid freaks out. I don't like that. There's ways to calm them down. Yeah. Oh, your baby, right? So take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> you try, you do, no? All right. Jesus had to go take Grayson for a walk. We had the hardest time at the restaurant today because I forgot his blanket. I always thought that if we were to give him the pacifier, it would be very hard to get him off of it because everyone always says that it is, but he actually stopped using it on his own. One night when he was around 10 months old, he just got disgusted by it and never picked it up again. But that blanket, if I forget that blanket, he freaks out like he is right now. to the city I had to put on my jacket because they got a little chilly out here sometimes Kip and I like to just walk around go to different places different boroughs and just explore and tonight is one of those nights yeah we just want to hang out with the tourists tonight and it's kind of also like a farewell summer little walk through 42nd Street because it's definitely fall time I mean not officially but you can feel it I mean we need our jackets it's really chilly yes. the heart of New York you can never get tired of it Times yes Square, baby a go-go again because I bought it the other day and I'm guessing my son touched it because it completely vanished and I had to try the subculture palette I know it's so controversial but you never know until you try it for yourself right one eternity later so much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one well that concludes my fast little trip to Sephora I was debating whether or not I wanted to go in and get that palette because so many people said it sucked and it was so bad and it was just a whole big drama all over that palette but then there were people like Kathleen Lights that actually really liked the palette so I do believe that there were like good and bad batches because that's happened to me with other brands before so I don't know I'm gonna give it a try and you know if it doesn't work for you then you could always return it but I was also at the Huda Beauty section and a lot of her stuff was sold out I already have her rose gold edition palette and the new one that's coming out is beautiful as well her lashes were sold out and a bunch of girls were crowding around her liquid lipsticks so I didn't really get to swatch any of those. But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted. That and another repurchase of my Kat Von D lipstick. that bottle right there. Hey guys, 
I hand it to this gentleman right over here. Just make sure that it's empty, sir, because we're gonna make an object penetrate inside that bottle. Whoever has a coin, it could be from any place in the world, place it on top of the bottle, because it's going in, who has it? Place it right on top of the bottle. Oh yeah, she's got one. It's not going into this side, not going to that side, and this side, forget about it, you see that? But it does go in. How? It penetrates. Let me warm up, this is a very difficult effect. This is my warm up, and then I'm gonna put your coin inside the bottle. Watch the move, when you watch the magician, Watch the left, watch the other left, watch the front of the hands, back of the hands, between the fingers. Now watch this. Ball number one, I place it in my lap. That's number one there, you got it? That's the dog, and that's the bright. I take number one, and um, young man, you take number two. Got a concert. Go like this. Pull your sleeve back, because they're very suspicious. You know, yes. Look, now you see it, now you don't. Trench! Potation. I go down, I, and you see right there, it has just transported. Open your hand, young man, and there it is! <laughs> All right, don't get so excited, young man, thank you. Bruh. Did you just wake up? Did you just wake up or something? That's my best work right there. No, 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 good job. All right, young man, zoom it in. Like this, not like this, okay? Because I want him to videotape through the bottle there. You watch through over here towards the camera like that. You got it? Yep. You let it go, it goes right through a blood vessel, just like that. Now we're going to go through your head, then a glass, and everything's ready. Okay. All right, Sharon, you feel that right there? Yeah. That's only halfway in, just relax. Yeah, look, now it's touching the bottle. Now I'm gonna go through the glass. Hold on, I'm gonna go all the way to there. Just. <laughs> oh, oh my God! <laughs> so that, right? You see that little mark right there? That takes about 90 seconds, and you can see that is right through the bottom there. Yes. You turn it like this, too big for the neck, and the back is totally sealed. Let's give her a round of applause. <laughs> right against the black over here, here we go. One, two, and three, go one time like this. Come right out of the bottle. This is absolutely empty, yes? <laughs> Nobody it's a real bottle, y'all. Except this woman, he's a young man. Yeah, while well, you were distracted by the car. I saw the guy doing the yin and the yang, getting qigong energy. Yes, that's a yin, this is a yang. Then you take it to the next. That's right, zoom on, zoom in, my man. Zoom in. Can you videotape that? I'm gonna go right through it, just like that. And then also the back. Or you go a baby circle like that. And then you say, one. <laughs> you need, you need to go to uh, Carolina. When I place this here, with that hand, just go like this. Look, one, two, three. Go ahead. Wait, one, one, two, two three. and three. Right there, you just did, man. Dude, you just threw just away two dollars. By waving your hand. Transport. Excuse me, young man. Oh, he got it. He got it now. Don't drink it. Don't drink it. And they can hit me off just two magical effects. Thank you, gentlemen. Watch the move. Where are we going? Uh oh. Oh, that's where we're going. <laughs> Is it his ear? <laughs> hey, hey, is it over here? No. No, don't get that out of your ear. It might end up in your other ear. <laughs> Go 
smoke like that, that'll kill you. It goes right to the brain. If you're ever in need of entertainment, come to 42nd Street. Even if you were born and raised in New York, like sure. you'll always leave satisfied. I'm not even kidding. There's entertainment on every corner. There's something going on everywhere. So cool. Magnetic eyelashes. I don't know about that, but I would try them. Clone Trooper, you're off duty now? She is drunk. Bruh. No, I think he's hungry. <laughs> yeah, he's hungry. <laughs> anyway, we're going home now. It's getting late. It was fun though. Yeah, that was fun. Should we get something to eat? I think so. Somebody's ready to party. He's ready to go. We're about to go in that store right there because we got a new couch, which is really exciting That's how I know that I'm an adult officially because I get excited about getting a new couch But anyways, we have the new couch and now we need a cover for that couch because as you guys know We have the Lilar dog and we have Grayson and we don't want to mess it up Yeah, because it's either that or I'm gonna have to paint the house again and I'm not doing it So here it is, the new couch that we just bought. We actually ended up finding a cover that we liked. Well, this is what it looks like. Oh man, this couch is so comfortable. And I love the grays. I feel like the gray goes well with the red, black, and white thing that we have going on. With the lighter gray right there too. But originally when we got the blue couch, we were gonna paint the wall again. We were gonna paint it white. And then we were gonna have like um, bluish tones going on. Like maybe the light blue couch, maybe a little pop of royal blue, but I don't know, before we painted the house and we didn't have the baby, but right now, I think it's gonna be way too much work. So I think we're gonna hold off on that for a while and just kind of keep this thing going on. And maybe in the future, we'll switch it up. But for now, I'm loving the new cover and I'm loving the pillows. So the couch is gonna stay brand new with this cover. Little one over here is not gonna write on it with anything. And if he does, well, it's okay. We could just pull off the cover and buy a new one. Not a whole new couch. Right, Gray? Like my hat, you want it? 